Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here, and this is another open with me, and this is for the new Crochet Nail magazine, which is a three-in-one bumper spring pack. Exclusive peanuts designs. We've got a book of crochet squares, 21 mix and match designs, which, you know, considering you get about between 20 to 35, 40 in a book you can buy. That's not bad for a freebie. We've got King Cole Spring Collection, worth $9.99. So there's another supplement. And Rico Young, worth £50 when you subscribe. To be honest, I need a new subscription, so I might just do that. Let's have a little look. Um, if I can find out how much this bumper pack cost. Oh, look, we've got a hole in that. Hopefully nothing fell out or was taken out. $8.99. So, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Hopefully you'll be informed when new videos pop up. So, let's get in. Well, I'll come to the gifts after. So we'll pop that over there and we'll concentrate on the magazine for now. So we've got Beginner's Guide to Tunisian Crochet from Bella Coco. Peanuts Baby Blanket. And Get Creative Must Make Toys, Clever House Plants and Quick and Easy Cushions. Probably the only house plants I wouldn't kill. Bright and Bold Blankets. We've got an adorable Amigurumi I can see that one's a mouse. I actually identified one. Wow. Stylish accessories. Need to know seams. Exclusive designs. Win three miles of yarn and more. 61. Inspirational patterns, including super cute bag. Oh, popcorn bag. Right. Okay. Let's get this in position. Move that one out of the way, come down a little bit, and we'll have a look and see what's inside. Um, we'll forget that bit, because that's just the hello page. So it looks like inside, I have to move my tea, and mark the phone out of the way. Okay, so we've got a few kind of things, like a lacy, like a little shawl, um, a cardigan with extremely big sleeves. We've got a duck. Wow, another one I... <laughs> I'm getting good at this identification lock. Um, we've got um, a ticket, I suppose. Admit one. Um, oh, now I know a little girl will love that blanket. And furniture made simple, is that? And we've got, oh, look. Oh, look, what's on this? You know how much I love them. Okay. What's new? Is that two pages? It feels like it. Nope, that's one. Just felt thick, a bit like me. All right then, so. Um, we've got a new Rowan book, Crochet in Style. Um, I don't know how to get your hands on that. www.knitrowan.com. So I'm not sure if you have to pay for that one. Um, we've got, this is um, unusual. Sort of, I thought that was a dress at first, but no, her leg's here. So it's split, so it's kind of a a long tabardy dress. Um, okay. Little Poppets Crafts, new yarn release. So who's this? Um, yarn Smiths Create. I've not had Yarn Smiths, so I wouldn't know whether that's nice or not. Um, this is the Charm by Stylecraft, and I do stock that. They are so dreamy, the way they kind of change colours and they are a giant ball as well so they're kind of worth the money okay let's move on and we've got this is the super yummy yarn which um is a stylecraft kind of sorry a king cole sort of version of um you know flutterby and the Bernat kind of hairy what am i trying to say chenille yarn that's the one and it's, it's nice. I have used it. I made something for Sophia with it. I haven't yet stocked it because I stock Flutterby and I didn't want too many different chenilles. So this is Show Us Your Makes. This is where readers get to send in their bits and bobs. Funnily enough, in association with Signet. 
My cat sounds like she's growling at something. And so does my stomach, by the way. That's, um, they're competing. <laughs> competing for attention. This is fun at the fair shawl. I like it. It's quite nice. And a little while ago, I had some um, yarn from Joanne's that was these colours. It look, would look really nice, I think. Although it's not, you wouldn't get a whole stripe of colour like you've got here. They've used West Yorkshire Spinner's Bow Peep. I'm not sure if I find that a little, not as soft as I'd like. It's soft, but almost kind of scratchy. I don't know. Yeah, you know, when I feel it, I'm not sure if I like it next to my skin. Anyway, that's by Victoria Tyler. Is it Tizer? Sorry. Not, oh, I've got hair. That's better. Got it. This is the cute carousel blanket. When I first saw it, I thought it was a unicorn, but it isn't. It's a corner to corner. Is it a unicorn? Is that a spike on the head? Yes, it is. That looks like a spike. It is a unicorn. Wow, I know someone who'd love that. But as I don't see to see, I won't be doing it. This is by Lisa Hooper. Um, I'm not, not that I can't um, corner to corner, just that I never have. But there's a chart. So you don't have to do it corner to corner if you don't want to. So there's an advert here for the Hobbycraft Plus, which is says it's supporting small craft businesses and more. I really don't get how. Um, I can't imagine that. They'd just be supporting themselves, surely. I don't know. So you've got the Admit One cushion. So this has kind of got a fair groundy theme, isn't it? It doesn't say it does or anything, but we've got the carousel, we've got Admit One cushion. A bit odd here, though. <laughs> I don't know. I like, it's different. And it's by Zoe Potrack. Have you noticed the same names crop up all the time? They're always the same sort of designers. Here we've got Peanuts. Peanuts. Oh, look. I, I didn't notice this guy. I only noticed this one. Now, Snoopy. Don't know who this is. Didn't really watch Peanuts. Uh, Woodstock. Of course it is. Yeah, I remember Woodstock now. Remember the little hairy bits. Long while ago for me, Snoopy and Woodstock. But yeah, they're lovies, actually. <clears throat> Nearly choked on my own spit there. Oh, lovely. I'm sure you want to know that. But how I stop myself, I'll never know. Okay, so we've got adverts and Kerry's journal. And then we've got what looks like some crocheted vegetables and flowers. <laughs> a sprig of sage and a blue morpho butterfly in the colour hyacinth. I don't think they're in here, but yeah. So this is the Peppermint Love cardigan, which looks better here. What is that cat doing? No idea, but seriously, she's making some odd noises. Um, but it's kind of rounded and it's got baggy-ish sleeves. I think it'd be good for a beginner, though. Um, yeah. Actually, it says adventurous. So maybe it wouldn't be good for a beginner. Maybe it's all this um, kind of like... Um, call the midwifey um, type blanket in fretwork thingy. Anyway, it goes from an extra small up to a 5X. So quite good sizing, but it says adventurous. I didn't think it looked like it would be adventurous, but there you go. I've got an advert for some yarn. Alphonse the Acrobat Mouse. So this is by Pia Simpson. And he's quite cute. I love his ears and his hat. He's really nice, I think, you know, as really is. I like him. I would like him myself but I don't make toys. So here we've got the subscribe to Crochet Now, free 40 piece Rickaroomy yarn bundle. So it's the little ones, but um, nice stuff actually. And hit, oh look. So, he, these are cute. So why are they showing us these? Is it is it in this magazine? Are they Rickaroomy? Is that what it is? 
Receive a free Rikurumi yarn bundle when you subscribe to Crochet Now. Your bundle consists of 40 25 gram balls of carefully selected colours from Rikurumi range, which is perfect for home furnishing and toys. It says nothing about said llamas. No. If they're not in this magazine, <laughs> it's very, well, it's not right, is it? Keep showing them. Anyway, Little Windmills Blanket. And these are obviously lots of hexagons made together. Very windmilly. I think if I were to make a blanket like this, I'd make some with windmills. Oh, sorry, cat. And some without. That sounded quite soulful, didn't it? Upset pussycat. But that's what it looks like. It's quite nice when you see it all together. It looks a bit like webby, doesn't it? Let's not talk about webs. You know how I feel about spiders. Got horses going by now. Right, all sewn up cascade yarns. So this is showing us how to sew our edges. And I wonder if any of them have taken my join. <laughs> my invisible join that I um I kind of nobody had done that. Nobody had done it apart from knitters. Nobody had shown it. So let's see. Yeah, look, this seam should be invisible from the right side. Well no, mine's invisible from both sides, so. Perhaps they haven't then. Charlotte's Evening Stole. Now that's quite nice. I like that. I like this sort of interwoven sort of shell. This is by Shabnam uh, Mer Merze, I think. I'm not sure how to say it. But yeah, that's pretty. I like that one. And then we've got the Book Club. Okay, we've got crocheted. House plant sixteen ninety nine by GMC Publications. So these are all the plants that you could actually. I do have some cactuses. I've not managed to kill those yet, but mostly plants, you know, die in this house. We've actually got this plant, believe it or not, by um on the windowsill, because Gary's mum used to love orchids, and um she always had a few, and then when she passed away, we got a really nice picture of her, and we put an orchid by the side of it exactly this one so it should we murder said orchid could always kind of crochet one and we've got molly the duckling by andrea ferreira oh do we have a a designer for this one it doesn't say no name attached i wonder why i didn't read it out because it wasn't there okay so this is how to make the toy i like the little jaunty hat to one side that's pretty cute so we've got the Bella Coco Crochet Chronicles, which I always find hard to get the gob around. But um, it's all about the Tunisian today. And the Piece of Cake Crochet Along Part 10. I wonder how long it is. This month we're focusing on beans and beads with another two stitches in our Piece of Cake cow. Doesn't say how many it goes on for. But it is um, quite into it now. So um, a lot of back issues would be required should you want to make that. Another kind of lacy one, we're kind of thinking of spring now, aren't we? And it's quite handy that we've got spring-like weather here. Amma's Fort Shawl. Light lacy shawl with sweet motifs that look like floating lilies. It's a real story of friendship and community spirit. That's by Cart Erman. Win a rainbow over three miles of yarn. But you have to subscribe, I think, or go online to Craft World and then you'll be bombarded, wouldn't you, with stuff. And then that's just an advert. So we've got Festival Flags Bunting by Liam Marshall. We've got a man, guys. We've got a man who's knocked up a bit of bunting for us. Your crochet community. Unmissable events um, near you. FarnhamMaltings.com if uh, anywhere near you. I'm just going to have some tea and letting it go cold. New Year New Cow. At Keep Calm and Crochet on UK.com. A New for Baby UK Hand Knitting. Shop of the Month, Rainbow Valley. Where are you? Um... 
we don't have any shops anymore. They all shut down. Um, none left. I am all there is around here, I think. Um, that's if they know about me and hobbybox.co.uk. Just going to pause it for a second. Back, guys. I just had to slurp back the tea. I couldn't have it go cold. Okay, so this is a cushion, obviously. Um, I do have some round cushion blanks I bought to make something. Never got round to doing it. I started. Um, you may remember me making circles if you've been on my channel for a while, but I never got it done. Jacinta Bowie and Deborah Lomas. The two people came up with this. I don't quite know how that works. This is the bag. This is the popcorn bag, which is unusual. So I'm not sure how that, if that's actually a zip or what, how it attaches. It's got a metal chain strap. Sorry, I don't, kind of got that back too much, I think. Zoe pot track. Um, yeah, it's a zip. So you kind of attach the top with a zip. And there it is being sported by this young lady. It's unusual, isn't it? If you're aha, uh -huh. Stevie the Llama and Friends is <laughs> Stevie by Jessica Yu. Oh, now I just might have to have a go at a llama. Oh, I love these though. I don't think that's very going to be very easy to crochet, is it? Not a chance, really, because there's got to be embroidered. You can't crochet, that's tiny. Anyway, it is pretty. I love them. You know, I'm a sucker for a llama or an alpaca. Oh, look, the little back views. That's so sweet. And I suppose you could just make something with beads, couldn't you? Okay. What else we got? Flora quilt. That's pretty, isn't it? It's quite nice. It's just held together by the leaves. And in strategic places and that picture doesn't really show you the work that's nice and that was by hannah cross there she is what a star and we've got a chart and we've got all the abbreviations and in next issue we've got a crochet hook set and it's got little cats again must be it's bad to see this one here for every dog and cat. Um, totally Pawsome. Celebrate an adorable animal friend in next month's issue with amazing amigurumi and creative home decor. Oh, wow. Like Pussycat. And these with the paw prints on. I like that. Oh, that looks promising. And get to know the blog stars, Emily Littlefair. Never uh, anyone I do really know, actually. So that's that's the mag. Let's put that over there. And we'll have a look at the King Cole Stylish Spring Wardrobe for the new season. We've got trendy designs, quick accessories. We've got this tank top, would you say, with a little sleeve. That's just quite a nice little uh, T-shirt, maybe. I don't know. And we've got bunnies. Or are they hairs? Let's not split hairs. Oh, that was a grown-up. We've got a big bag and a kind of tunic. So this is the Helios golden tunic in a versatile wardrobe staple. Perfect with jeans or leggings to suit your mood or to suit your stomach, more like. You know, or your thighs or your butt. Because that's really what depends on whether you're in jeans or not, doesn't it? Okay, let's move on to the Astrea. Why do they find these names? Astrea, a stylish market bag that's quick and easy to hook up. You'll love to use it for the visit to the shop. And why not as an exclusive excuse for a seaside trip? It's actually quite nice. You could take it as a beach bag. I always worry that things are going to fall out the hole, though, on those sort of things. This is called Pandora. Layer this lovely tee up for your cho for your chosen style with a long sleeve blouse for sophisticated look or alone with jeans for a relaxed spring look. 
I like the jeans, that's for sure. But here it is, and there's the sleeves. Well, they're nice freebies, aren't they, from King Carl? Artemis and Apollo. That's quite an adventurous name for a hat and scarf, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that tickled me. <laughs> they're quite lacy. Like, there's a little Artemis. Which one is which? Oh, <clears throat> I've got to move on. That made me laugh too much. Um, Acanthus flock. Okay, it's kind of a. Is it a mobile or a wall hanging? Mobile. I'll let it off then because mobiles are fine. That's a mobile, guys. If you want to make that. Uh, Colour me happy. Showing you all the yarn. There has to be a catch, didn't there? Go buy the yarn. And um, we've got Ianthe. Simple on trend garment has wide sleeves and a boxy fit, making it super easy to make and wear, and covering a multitude of chubby sins if it's boxy. But I don't really do baggy sleeves, so um, they might be a tad baggy for me. But, and yeah, anyway, it should be uh, quite easy to make. It looks like a big square, doesn't it? Big granny. Big Granny. Nyx Erebus. <laughs> God, why do they do this to me? Nyx Erebus. Clotho. Oh, and Lachiesis. I'm renaming these guys. I'm sorry. That's just too much. You can use your remnants from other projects in this collection to hook up this charming fluffle of rabbits i didn't know that a collection of rabbits was called a fluffle maybe it is if they're if they're crocheted but yeah they're cute but seriously the names guys you know come on already what whatever happened to flopsy and thumper and simple names for bunnies this is called chloris oh my goodness good job i didn't get that wrong I'm sure you know what I mean. Cloris, this fun statement shawl is the perfect cover-up to leap into spring. Designed by Cassie Ward. I didn't give the others credit, did I? How remiss of me. But it kind of is this shape. It's like um, a roof. You know when you draw a house when you're a child? It's what kind of the shape is. <laughs> oh, and then we've got a picture of the tunic and all the abbreviations page. Okay. Well, that was fun. In more ways than one. Now we've got another book. Good Lord. They really spoiled us this time. The Pocket Book of Crochet Squares. 21 mix and match designs you'll love to make. Okay. To be honest with you, see this one here? I was toying with the idea of knocking up something like this for a specific thing that I've been going on about for the last couple of years. But it was going to be something like this particular. <laughs> I always say, if I don't hurry up and do something, someone will beat me to it. But not to say this isn't a square that's been around for a long while. But the specific thing that I was going to do, I need to hurry up and do. But here we go. We've got, looks like a learner sign. It probably isn't. We've got waves. We've got um, a square in the corner. We've got, well, they could be Christmas trees if you use that in the, you know, later on and make it green. We've got a diamond. We've got stripes. We've got a, a kind of a target. And texture. We've got an X. And we've got shells or fans. We've got round into a square. We've got a line over this side. We've got another triangle and another triangle. And we've got some flowery ones and we've got the teddy. And we've got a heart at the top. Me think some of these might be C to C. But this one's called the bullseye. I said it was like a target. Bullseye. That's quite a nice one. Very basic. Mitered corner. I think it's a, a learner driver. <laughs> can you imagine someone you know is learning to drive? You can make them a square. <laughs> it's quite right. This is a, a corner to corner. Might be one to practice on though, if you fancy giving C to C a go. Basket weave. I can see that now. 
but it's basket weavy. On the other page, it was just too small. I couldn't really make that out. Ripple stripe. I think it's more like waves, personally. N noughts. Noughts. Does it really say noughts? It's a diamonds, surely. Oh, well. Crosses. <laughs> noughts and crosses. A stretching a point, methinks. Mitered granny square. See a lot of them around. Bubble triangles. Would be perfect for Christmas trees, just saying. Striped clusters. Circle in a square. Teddy bear. Uh huh. Corner to corner heart and a chart. Do love a chart. Tulip stitch. Granny heart. I have to say, I really like the way they've got one on the page, you know, and the, the picture of it, and then the. That's quite sweet. I like that. Good idea. Rose. I ordered a book recently. I'll tell you in a minute. A diamond bobble. We've got a pansy. My mum loved her pansies, you know. She absolutely did. Big fan of the pansy. Daisies. Wisteria. Doesn't look like anything like a wisteria. Looks more like an arrow. Wisteria. Stretching the point. Meadow. I like the colours though. Raised treble burst abbreviations, hook sizes, guide to UK and US terms, which is good because it gives you the hook sizes for both as well and all that jazz. So that is a really good little book. Now, I ordered one to do as a giveaway and it was um, a little book of granny squares and there was, oh, let me think, I can't remember how many, I think it said 30, something like between 20 and 30 in this book and I ordered it off of Amazon and it arrived and when I opened it I thought because it was about this size and I thought this this kind of well, maybe a little tiny bit bigger actually but I, and it had a, a picture on the front with the picture of the book so you know, it looked odd so then I opened it up and within the first pages it said um I have decided to make this free book for you um as a you know kind of a, a gift and um it was it was basically a free book one that was done to give away as freebies and i'd paid for it on amazon as a, a giveaway prize but when i opened it and i looked whereas this is all nice and in color everything was black and white because it was made as a freebie and it was really shoddy quality and awful so i've just returned it um I, all I did was get straight back on and say this this is not on it was you know it's supposed to be a free book and I've paid for it so I want my money back basically and I'm sending it back but this is way better and it is a freebie so there you go so that is the new crochet now that's my pen isn't it dragging my pen and the King Cole Cole King Cole wardrobe and the square book, I actually quite like this one. Lots in it. Quite nice stuff in the magazine. Nice stuff in the King Cole. And a few nice squares to do. So yeah, big hit for me this one. I quite like it. And some unusual things like the popcorn bag and things like that. I'm not sure that you want to make a big zip going around the top. But could find another way of um, attaching it um, quite easily. But yeah, um nice magazine let me know what you think whether you like it and what you liked best what you didn't like if there was what really floated your boat what didn't and uh thanks for watching stay safe everyone and i'll see you on the next one bye for now